there to Venice now, where artists from all over the world have been gathering for the city's 60th uh, Biennale Festival. Now, it's seen as one of the biggest events in the art world, bringing together creators, curators and collectors. Biennale is such a big deal for the industry, it's earned the description of the Olympic Games of Art. Well, let's go live to Los Angeles now to talk to Shane Gaffar, who's an artist who has just returned from this particular event with your exhibition at the still point of the Turning World launching during the opening week. So, uh, welcome to the program, Shane. How did it go? Thank you. It was great. It, um, you know, there's so much energy going on there and there's so many people all coming to Venice. It's, it's quite the whirlwind, but um, I'm happy to uh, have survived and be back in L.A. Would you agree that it is the Olympics for the art world, this particular event? Absolutely, I would, because there's, it, it draws people from all over the world like nothing else ever does, or ever in the art world at all, and um, from all over the world, and it's, it's quite extraordinary. Plus, you have all the um, pavilions for all the different countries, and everybody's showing who they are, what they are, why they are, and it's an extraordinary moment. Is it, is it for all, though? I mean, for example, uh, across the UK, we have something called the Affordable Art Fair at various different cities around the country at different times. Is this sort of like that, or is it really for the cream of the cream? That's a good question. I think there's a little of everything there. Um, some of the countries are showing artists that the world has never heard of before, and it's much more figurative, it's much more academic. Other countries are showing work that's very cutting edge and very conceptual. So it has, I think, a nice balance of everything across the board. For you, Shane, you were born and bred in uh, Los Angeles, California, but actually it was a trip to Europe, was it not, that kind of really established you as, as a career in, in art to become an artist? Well, yes. I um, when I was seventeen, I graduated after graduating high school. I saved up my money and I went to Europe with a backpack and sleeping bag. And my first stop actually was at the National Gallery in London. And standing in front of that second to last portrait, self portrait by Rembrandt, it completely changed my world. And then two months later, I was in front of the Last Supper in Milan, and I knew what my life path was going to be. So it's, you know, it's, it's an ongoing thing. It, there's no direct through line to this. You just keep showing up every day, and yeah. Well, the history of Europe. Yeah, yeah I've been sorry. looking at your work in preparation for today. We're seeing it now as well. It is stunning work, and I do love your studios as well. I'm quite envious, actually, Shane. Well, thank you so oh, much thanks. for joining us. Shane Gavog there, live from Los Angeles, to talk about the uh, Venice... Biennale event, which I'm sure is stunning if you can get there. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you very soon. If you're watching us on BBC One in the UK, you can join Breakfast at the top of the hour. If you're not, I'll be back shortly.